Don't belittle women, and this is coming from Don Jazzy, as he wants an actress called Uyanda. Um, the actress had insinuated that Don Jazzy's clothes were not pressed, and if he had a wife, it may not have been the case. Don Jazzy wow. simply said, Don't belittle <laughs> women like that, madam. See, I don't know why Don Jazzy is not married. Maybe she was trying to shoot that shot. I don't care. <laughs> she, she, she was, was, what do you mean? You don't know why Don Jazzy is not married? Yeah. If, if he's not ready, no, he's I'm not just ready. saying that somebody is like available. <laughs> like, what is what is he really waiting for? That's Maybe what I'm saying. Who, who's available? I don't understand. I, am I black? Are you not seeing me? <laughs> Now this is good. I, I love I love Don Jazzy's response. Mm. You know, stop belittling women because what I get clearly said, mm -hmm. marry a wife and she becomes your personal laundry woman. For sure. No. So, <laughs> by her own self, she Jai dug, a, she dug a grave and buried herself in it. So you're saying the essence of having a woman in the house is so she can become your, your housemate. Mm. Alright? She can become your cook. If you want to cook in a wife, then marry a chef. If you want someone that will do your laundry, get a laundryman service. Even if you marry you know, a chef, this the chef might decide right? not to cook for you. This, exactly. This is what I, I mean. No, I mean, employer chef. This is what I say oh, to okay, many yeah. of my female friends, mm -hmm. right? There's so much already against you guys in society. It's a patriarchal system. Mm -hmm. because if you marry a wife, they feel she's supposed to do your laundry for you. She's supposed to be your cook, take care of the home, take care of the children. She's not meant to have an ambition. She's not meant to aspire to be anything but a housewife. All right? So the more, more women say, see these traditional roles as what a wife is meant to be, the fight against patriarchy is not going to—it's not going to succeed. Mm. All right, a woman is beyond all of these things and more. She has a right to aspire to be the DG of a company, to be the president, to be a governor, to be anything she wants to be. Now, if she decides in the bond of our being together, she wants to extend the gesture of cooking for me, I would appreciate it. She's not bound to cook for me. Because that's not why I married her in the first place. If I needed a cook, I would employ the services of a chef. She's not bound to take care of the house to clean up for me. Mm -hmm. If I need someone to do that for me, I will employ the services of a maid. I say this in essence to say at the end of the day, those are not obligations of who a wife is. Mm -hmm. By extension, she does it. Appreciate her for it. If she cannot, get somebody else to do it for you. She's not your maid. She's not your cook. She's not your cleaner. She's not any of those things traditionally they've made her to become. And so where a woman becomes, and that's why we shame women who can't cook, like, and she's a woman, she cannot cook. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. There's nothing wrong because she cannot cook. If you need to cook, get a chef. If can you need you, a can laundry, you not cook? if you need a laundry person, <laughs> my question if you need is, a laundry you, person, can you cook? Get a, employ the sense of a, of a laundry man or a laundry woman, and don't reduce women to all of these roles. It's just not fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be honest, it's not fair. I feel people don't even understand what marriage is all about. Mm. A lot of people... Will school us, baby. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, yes, like, cool I feel like a lot of people go into marriage because of things like this. Yeah. They need somebody to cook for them, mm. somebody to do their laundry, somebody to, you know, take care of the kids, quote and unquote. What is your own job then in the marriage? Bring money. And that's mm. it. <laughs> I'm just saying. In the, no, in that's the 24th what century, of. everything is co. Mm. Co-parenting. Mm -hmm. You know, we're co, we're co couples. We're living together. We're doing everything together. And then so there shouldn't be a particular role totally assigned to the man and totally assigned to the woman. Mm. These are all the conflicts. People come into marriage and experience. And once one party falls short, there's conflict in the marriage. Now, I'm not saying the woman should not cook. If she wants to cook, if she's just cooking, let her go ahead and cook. But please don't reduce her to just that. That is she's beyond that. Just turn this into cooking. It's no. iron they're yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. It's like the same you know, thing. <laughs> no, no, no. So I'm sorry, she shot herself in the food by saying that to Don Jazzy. And Don if she was shooting her shots, she, she went about it the wrong way. She lost it well. She went about She has not intimidated you know. me yet. Uh -uh. Don Jazzy is a smart man. You like, like, stop belittling women. And so your role is just going iron for me. this comment, who was it? Nariana Goody. Iron. Yeah, you know he's always be clear about his yeah. um, crush <laughs> for Rihanna. Exactly. I mean, don't, you don't belittle men like that. Mm.